you need some budget floor pans for your hot rod and you're not sure what you want to do well today I have a solution that may or may not be slightly illegal depending on how you acquire said floor pans but either way we slap them in and we get the job done I'm Robert welcome to Boneyard Revivals Here she is you ever like you're thinking about a project in your head and you stop and look at something and you're thinking about it you're like oh yeah that won't be that that bad and then you kind of like revisit that project and realize oh 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 that's significant that's not too far behind and what's that over there oh another another hole full of daylight huh I don't quite remember it being that bad. I guess that's what happens when it's been, you know, too long. But uh, yeah, that, that does tend to happen. So uh, we'll fix that. We, we have a solution for that. So we do have a freeze plug on this side of the block somewhere that's leaking. I think it's gonna be the back one. So we'll have to fix that. I wanna get some toggle switches so I can do everything from inside you know the actual car instead of having to come out here and do the jump little thing that i always have to do uh but besides that i think we're pretty much uh might do an oil change probably should do an oil change um part of me is saying i should do a tranny fluid dump and change but we all know that's not going to happen moving on okay so for the second time today i've had some audio issues i had this parked under that my front porch where I've been keeping this and I had I got all the clips and videos of us firing it up and driving it out of there and driving it over here a few moments later what you did see but there was no audio, and the reason why there was no audio was because my one microphone kept messing up, and I'm kind of upset about it, to be honest, because that's the second time it's done that to me in the past two days of trying to record stuff, and I'm actually recording two videos at once right now. <sighs> I got a lot going on, but I'll actually fire this up for you so you can actually hear it run, you know, while we're here. So hopefully she'll, she'll come back to life here. Should I check to see if it's in park? What do you say, yay nay? Well, if you're gonna keep standing there, I'll probably will. I don't want you getting ran over. So I'll check. Yep, park engaged. Honestly, I should just throw this other battery in it if I was smart. I think that's what we're gonna do. Because the battery that's in here is about stone cold dead. And if you don't remember, if you haven't checked out any of the other old videos, go check them out. Link up here. Sure. Um, but this, uh, had a bunch of issues with the starter, and you know what's crazy? We went to the junkyard, found a starter, rebuilt it like 27 times. I just happened, right, just happened to go through the trunk, not realizing and totally forgetting that there was a bunch of extra parts in the trunk. Guess what was in the trunk? You guessed it, the original starter. <laughs> so, uh... That was cool. So we'll probably be throwing that back on because this one's arguably junk. But let me get this battery out of here. That's the only problem though. This this one is much, much bigger. That's what she said. Ooh. Fitment. Fitment. Not better than expected. We'll, we'll let it ride. I think it'll work. I gotta get I gotta get my excite wire for the alternator and my my other wire tucked in here into the, uh, the terminal here so it actually does stuff. We're about to find out if the starter's good or not. Okay, okay. So 
So funny story, there is absolutely no radiator in this car currently. Reasoning why is if it's leaking all of its cooling fluids, why put a radiator back in it if you know it's just gonna end up all on the ground anyways. That's why it was kind of crucial that we got it fired up quick and got it over here. Um, but just so you know how rigged this thing is, I'll bring you in here and show you what we have going on. It's, it's quite impressive. So for our ignition system, we literally have an Excite wire from the alternator to the battery here. You can tell it's just clamped on there. This is to our HEI back here to actually make that spark. There's our actual start wire that's down to the starter. Touch that. And yeah, so the whole thing's a mess. I'd like to clean all this up. Let's look at all that wiring. That's just not good. And then obviously our fuel system. I did have it hooked up through the tank. We actually did look through the tank. I'll throw that clip up now of us actually looking in the tank. The tank in the back of the car is clean. The only problem is, is there's a little line somewhere in here on the underside of the car that's rotted through. So basically it just dumps fuel out there, which that's entirely safe. Uh, so we, uh, we ran it back up to the fuel jug for now and just have it plumbed to the fuel pump and then obviously just have it blocked the return line blocked up i will hook all that stuff back up when we get a chance i even threw in a little fuel fuel filter in there just to ensure that it would be all right but uh you know so we'll fix all that stuff uh whether that's in this video or the next one who knows but yeah no radiator like i said didn't make any sense to have it it was just going to dump water on the ground then i have to get all of it back out of the block anyway so i already drained it once we'll fire it up and then we'll just get it in the shop and we'll take care of that problem now that we know that we're going to do a bunch of work to the cutlass, we have to decide on something that's a super, super important factor. There's no floors in this car, so I promised you a solution. So let me, let me get a, here's our solutions. Got the, you know, turn ahead sign, and then of course the, the speed limit sign. So one of these probably be our floor pan. We're going to need at least two, so potentially throw them both in. Who knows? We'll find out, but uh, yeah, so... I think this one's gonna be the the driver's side floor pan and then maybe maybe we'll toss this in on the passenger side that or i have a i have another one that we can throw in there too we'll we'll figure that out along the way but um dot if you're watching this don't be looking at any of the numbers and tracking me down and arresting me all right cool i uh, plead the fifth i don't know where these signs came from i uh just showed up one day and, and they were here so um um yeah, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. There's going to be a lot of garbage in here, so I'm just going to do myself a favor and try to clean it out as best as I can now. But yeah, taking a look at what we got in here, we just have, I mean, that's all garbage. Those are actually small block Chevy motor mounts from the original motor mounts that were in that, which we need those because they weren't great. The one was kind of messed up, but that's fine because we need them in case. You never know. But like extra belts what that? some fan for the blower motor maybe these are the actually the aluminum inlays that are supposed to go in the race car empty bucket with uh looks like square body chevy hubs a black doubt uh plastic piece a chest protector that's old school thor i just you know it's cool is that a pry bar i don't think that one's mine <laughs> uh piece of wood it looks like yeah let's just let's let's get this all cleaned out here where's my dog oh there he is what are you doing what are you what are you doing over there you want to come say hi <laughs> got to keep an eye on him sometimes he likes to get a little uh rambunctious and he sees a squirrel or a rabbit or you know something and he investigates like you just saw him do there you smell anything in there you gonna chase any rabbits out of this thing for me? No? Don't got nothing? Alright, well, I guess that's better than something being in here. Hit me with your tail, why don't you? Cool. Hey, I'm pretty sure this is my old man's. I wonder if he's been looking for it. <laughs> you can watch this video and call me up. What the? I've been looking for that for ever! Yeah, I know, sorry. Okay. Strip the whole interior out of it, including the headliner. Headliner is trashed, unfortunately. So that's gone, full of all the extra trim pieces that were still hanging in there. And I've come to the realization that uh, I bit off way more than I was hoping to chew here. I mean, it's a mess back here. I'm going to get the vacuum in, but 
not only is the driver's side floor pan garbage, uh, passenger one is right behind it, and the rear passenger side pan is gone too. The only one that's actually still reasonably decent is is has the driver's side rear. So let's see, one, two, three. That's three. I man, I that's gonna be three signs. <laughs> Look at that. It's gone. This, oh, man, it's such a shame because, like, you can even tell, like, there was some body work done, like, here and here. So this car isn't amazing, but, like, it's just had a hard life. And it is not going to get any easier because, <laughs> you know, I own it. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's get the vacuum in here, I guess, and we'll vacuum this up. <laughs> and we'll see what we actually have. I got a patch three floors in here. <laughs> and this wiring, look at all of this. I don't even, like, part of me wants to start figuring it out. I I'm starting to realize the drivability of this car is going to be absolutely horrible because there's going to be no blower motor, nothing. There's no dash unless I put one back in it. And, oh, man, it is just a a complete mess. But if we can at least get floor pans in it and have it not leak coolant and I can hop in it and drive it around the block and have a little bit of fun, um, I'm cool with that. So that's where we're going to be for now. We'll see how far we want to get later on here. But I'm going to get the vacuum in here. At least try to vacuum some of this garbage out. Oh! What? Getting fancy schmancy over here, huh? Oh yeah, I gotta fix them big holes there. Oh, I thought they were for aerating. They are, but like, let's be honest, I don't want to drop my phone through the floor and oh, lose yeah. it doing 90 down the highway, you know? Oh yeah, because you're doing 90 down the highway right now. Dude, this thing, this thing zips. What are you talking about? Oh, okay. This 307's got all the horsepower a guy could ever need. The transmission kind of shifts, and oh. uh, that's all you need. Yeah, it's got good. four wheels. It's good. Yeah, it's got four wheels. Some of the tools you're gonna need here. It's gonna be a hammer because you're gonna be beating the uh, you know your sign into place here. I have a rubber mount too and a piece of wood here. The piece of wood is gonna try to act as a buffer between you know the smashing unit and the uh, and our and our and our floorboard. Uh, you don't want to mess up the aesthetic too much, so we're gonna try to take it easy on it, but. If it comes down to it in the end, we might just have to let her absolutely eat and it'll be what it'll be. But let's, uh, we got it somewhat slid into place here. I want it as forward as I can get it. Um, but the more and more we're gonna have to work it down here in this front right corner up here, I'm gonna have to work at it a bunch. Yes, this floor is frig. We have a lot cut out of here. And um, if I'm being 100% honest with you, um, there needs to be a lot of work in order to actually make this right. <laughs> Which is funny because we both know that that's once again not going to happen. Um, but the good news is, is that... Uh, <coughs> <laughs> you take 10 years off my life because of in inhalation of rust. Anyways. Uh, yeah, we're kind of just here. And um, what kind of sucks is honestly, like, in order to do this right, if we're being serious for a moment, of course, uh, these are uh, ta uh, tack welded in, uh, or spot welded, excuse me. Uh, and these are actually your supports for uh, the seat. And what really kind of sucks is that uh, in order to do this right, they should be drilled out and pulled out. Um, and then, honestly, pretty much uh, sheet metal should go in at least up to here and get welded in and everything. Um, but once again, we both know it's not happening. Um, so basically, what I think I'm going to do is because the... Uh, our speed limit sign 
needs to sit ahead of that. We might have to cut off some of our speed limit sign. And uh, whatever we cut off, patch that in here and bring it out to here and patch this area here and then uh and just lay it down the best we can for the rest of it like i said this is not supposed to be a professional job okay i'm not i'm not a body guy we're just making it functional which has been the goal from day one so uh yeah i do like it though if you need to get to the brake lines or anything you know it is very serviceable which is really honestly convenient transmissions right here you know you can just get in there and adjust stuff <coughs> that's pretty nice also in here if i'm smart which i'm not um i'm gonna have to patch something in here as well um which will probably just be another piece of that or whatever metal i have laying around and we're once again probably just gonna seal it self tap it in golden and uh yeah we'll call it a day yep all right so i guess at this point it's um massaging our sign more to see where we where we can get it to fit in nicely okay um i think i i i, I tell you what the guy that sold me this car uh he made out pretty good <laughs> this thing is oh my goodness um yeah that's that's gone and honestly even to make that right we're cutting back up at least in the here honestly the whole floor pan should come out but i'm probably gonna stop cutting around here like look at that that's even like the seam where it's supposed to be sealed i'll probably just throw something in that's big enough to just go over that and then self tap or pop rivet into here holy smokes dude this, this thing's rough <laughs> this thing's really rough uh don't 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 do this at home kids okay what you're gonna see for the remainder of this video is stuff that is cool to do but not necessarily safe and safety is kind of important and uh i mean the, the instructional integrity of the car is still there but <laughs> <laughs> and now we're just gonna get in there and start cutting zing zang Whoa! no okay yeah let me go grab the wire wheel we're gonna wire wheel off the surface rust just to see what's even here yet and then i think it's uh getting out here with the grinder with a cutting wheel and just hacking out all the bad and i'm gonna try to save as much as these original pans as i can just because I don't feel like bending and placing in um, that much more uh, ch cheap metal. Uh, so, uh, yeah, let me, let me go grab that stuff and we'll clean it up and see what we come up with. Wow, that's bad. All right, progress update. I've been just taking self-tappers and just tapping them in, trying to get it set, and it kind of helps it get bent too. Um, but basically what I'm going to do is once we get it in the shape, which we're pretty close, I need to get a bunch more self tappers. And basically I think I'm going to self tap it probably six or eight different times, probably three down the sides and then probably one or two front and back just to get it set. Um, and then basically once we have all of our self tappers in and uh, we're kind of happy where it is, where it's bent up pretty good. I'm not going for perfection here as long as it's in there and there's, this acting as a floor pan, that's all that matters to me, especially in the back here. Um, now the front's slightly more important, fitment kind of. We might actually be cutting up some of our signs to make them fit and whatever. Um, but like even this side, I think we're just probably going to use the one that we have, probably cut material off of it and then just place it in. But for this back one, this one's this back one's nice because it was the right size. So basically we're just going to do what we got to do here. Finish self-tapping it in everywhere. Uh, we'll pull it back off. We're going to silicone the snot out of it. Then we're going to place it in. And then we'll self-tap it all in the holes that are already pre-self-tapped. Um, maybe stepping up to a bigger bolt size just because they might work the holes a little bit with the sizes that I'm using now. Um, but then after that, once our sealer is kind of like gooping up around it and stuff, we'll kind of spread it around, make sure it's good. 
And uh, then we'll probably drill a few extra holes and then pop rivet all of them just to secure it down uh, for sure. And then we're basically going to have to do that for every single one. So for all three, four pans here. And then we'll have floor pans back in this thing. But also another thing too I'm going to mention too is right before we silicone it and we're ready and we're set, I'm going to wire wheel the hell out of everything. And then we're going to take some primer and whatever paint I have laying around. It's stupid, I know, but figure I at least try to spray up uh, the metal that's there to try to save on it a little bit. Honestly, I shouldn't even bother painting it. I should just let it go. Maybe I maybe I won't bother it. Maybe I'll just let it go the way it is and just let it eat. Um, this is not supposed to be a professional job by any stretch of the imagination, but we're just coming in here and just kind of snip, 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 snip. Decent. Okay, okay. Four pans in. That one looks hideous. I mean, if it wasn't known on the internet that I'm a hack artist, well, now you know. But uh, that'll work. And so will that one. So no complaining. No complaints for me. Okay. Does it? Is there? Does it? Does it have solid rigidity at the floor now? Yeah. Is it sealed so water ain't gonna get in? Yeah. Well then. It's about half past that it got the job done, all right? So we're going to let that sealer uh, set up and cure, and uh, there we go. There's four pans. I'm kind of excited. I didn't end up doing the passenger side one like I initially planned on. I just ended up taking some sealer, and if I can get my cut pieces of metal out of it while it's still drying, um, and just spreading them over the holes. I'm perfectly content with that, um, and I think that'll be just fine. Um, I just didn't want to hack any more of the floor up. It's garbage the way it already is. So the fact that I actually at least have something in there now and there's no holes and there's no water getting in, I can live with that. So the last thing we have to discuss here before we close this video out is what are we doing for an interior? Obviously our floor pans are in there now. We're going to leave them be the way they are. No carpet or anything up to this point. I do have a carpet to put in it, but that's determined if we actually want to put one in it or not. But as a as a, as far as it comes to uh, a dash and seats, I uh, I'm not sure what I want to do there quite yet. That's why I think I'm gonna let you guys kind of tell me what you what you're thinking there, because we do have some options. So coming in here and taking a look at our street and strip cutlass, we do have a dash, and we do have seats. So I think the big question here is, do I rob? the dash and the seat back out of the street and strip cutlass and put them in black betty that also led me thinking too i've already stated that i'm pretty much just gonna go full blown race car with this car like we're gonna do a full suspension uh full nine inch uh forward rear end build and uh i've been thinking do i really need a dash i could just make an aluminum one right because we have the aluminum inlays for the engine bay what would hurt just putting in an aluminum inlay there if it's gonna be a race car i mean come on i want to be able to drive it on the street but let's be realistic clear it's gonna be more race car than it is gonna be street car so do we make the street car the black car and then the street and strip cutty is more strip cutty than street but still drivable on the street that's up to me and I guess you guys to determine. So let me know what you think down in the comment section and uh, we'll take it from there. But anyways, that is going to do it for this video here on Boneyard Revivals. Thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned because I've got a lot more work to do here on Black Betty and a lot of the other projects around here. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.